Jane Fonda's concerns about the Sydney Sweeney Barbarella remake possibly flopping are understandable. However, criticizing something before it even happens seems premature, especially with a talented director like Edgar Wright potentially involved. As for Jane Fonda's worries, we're here to give you the scoop, so sit back and relax, because here's everything we know about the upcoming Barbarella movie. So for those who aren't familiar with Jane Fonda, she's an actress who famously starred in the lead role of Barbarella. Directed by Roger Vadim, the film casts Fonda as the titular space traveler tasked by Earth's government to track down the destructive Positronic Ray, created by the villainous Duran Duran, played by Milo O'Shea. Released in 1968, Barbarella was adapted from the French comics by Jean-Claude Forrest, which sparked controversy at the time for its perceived pornographic content. The film featured Barbarella in revealing outfits and depicted her encounters with various alien races which contributed to its controversial reception. Despite initially receiving poor reviews from critics, Barbarella evolved into a cult classic over the years, significantly influencing pop culture. However, it also faced criticism for its stereotypical portrayal of women. Beginning with a provocative opening and including a controversial self-pleasuring scene, the film contributed to Fonda's status as a sex symbol, a label she has critiqued over time. While some viewed Barbarella as empowering in its embrace of sexuality, others questioned its depiction of female empowerment independent of sexualization. Fonda herself expressed ideas about making the film more feminist-oriented. Now, with Sidney Sweeney set to star in a new adaptation under Sony Entertainment, the question arises, can this remake address Barbarella's historical issues? With no confirmed writer or director yet, and Sweeney serving as executive producer, it remains uncertain whether the project will modernize Barbarella effectively. Known for bold roles like Cassie in Euphoria and her recent work in The Voyeurs, Sweeney has spoken about finding empowerment in such roles, suggesting her Barbarella might follow in Fonda's footsteps. However, there's hope that Sweeney could introduce feminist elements that Fonda envisioned for the original film. On the other hand, empowering female leaders doesn't necessarily require modesty. Sweeney could potentially strike a balance between honoring Barbarella's iconic appearance and updating the character for contemporary audiences. In a genre dominated by male figures, Sweeney has the chance to breathe new life into sci-fi with a fresh heroine. Hopefully she can draw inspiration from Fonda's perspective to ensure Barbarella's legacy evolves positively. In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Jane Fonda shared her reservations about Sidney Sweeney's Barbarella remake expressing concerns about its potential perpetuation of sexism. As a trailblazer for feminist representation in Hollywood, Fonda's apprehension reflects her commitment to ensuring that any remake honors the original film's intentions. I try not to think about it because I worry about what it's going to be. I had an idea of how to do it that original producer Dino De Laurentiis, when he was still alive, wouldn't listen to, but it could have been a truly feminist movie. As the project unfolds, it remains to be seen how Sweeney and the creative team will navigate these challenges and steer Barbarella into a new era of storytelling. With little news trickling in about the Barbarella remake, the recent buzz centers on Edgar Wright potentially taking the helm as director. Reports indicate that the acclaimed director of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is in talks to lead the Sidney Sweeney remake project, although nothing has been officially confirmed yet. Wright's ability to seamlessly blend genres, as seen in films like Shaun of the Dead and Baby Driver, positions him as an ideal choice for this campy sci-fi venture. However, his packed schedule might pose a challenge, especially if a swift production timeline is desired. The saga of reviving, remaking, and rebooting Barbarella spans decades, reflecting its status as a cult classic. The latest attempt, formally announced in 2022 with Sidney Sweeney attached, garnered more attention and anticipation than previous efforts. Despite limited developments since the announcement, Sweeney's involvement in the titular role has maintained interest, even during quieter periods of news updates. Jane Fonda's portrayal of Barbarella in the original 1968 film remains one of the defining roles of her career. For any remake to succeed, it must match the star power and cultural impact that Fonda brought to the character. 
currently, the only name officially linked to the project is Sydney Sweeney, who is slated to lead as the intergalactic heroine. Sweeney's dual role as both star and executive producer could potentially attract other high-profile actors, making the remake a star-studded affair. As for the story and which aspects will be remade, Barbarella is a well-established figure from comic books, with the remake expected to draw heavily from the 1968 cult classic. The original film's premise, where Barbarella is tasked by the United Earth government to track down the rogue scientist Duran Duran and his potentially world-ending invention, provides a solid foundation. Despite its straightforward setup, the original film used this plot as a canvas for a series of whimsical and adventurous escapades, which defined its charm and enduring appeal. The remake could potentially use Barbarella's overt sexualization as a lens to comment on broader issues of sexual representation in the media. It might cleverly reflect and critique elements of the 1968 film's approach while offering a contemporary perspective. However, without additional story details, the exact narrative direction of the Barbarella remake remains shrouded in mystery, leaving fans and industry watchers eager for more revelations. While Edgar Wright's potential involvement brings excitement and credibility to the project, uncertainties persist regarding his availability and the creative direction of the remake. With Sidney Sweeney poised to bring a modern interpretation to Barbarella, there's hope that the film will honor its legacy while introducing fresh perspectives and themes relevant to today's audiences. As developments unfold and more details emerge, the journey toward revitalizing Barbarella for a new generation promises to be as adventurous and unpredictable as the character herself. With that being said, the timing seems ripe for a Barbarella remake for several reasons. Firstly, advancements in filmmaking technology, especially in CGI and special effects, can enhance the visual spectacle of Barbarella's universe in ways that were not possible in 1968. This could bring a new level of immersion and excitement to the story, appealing to modern audiences who crave visually stunning and dynamic sci-fi adventures. Secondly, the cultural landscape has evolved significantly since the original Barbarella was released. There is a growing demand for diverse representation and nuanced storytelling, particularly concerning female characters. A remake offers an opportunity to revisit Barbarella's character with a contemporary lens, potentially addressing criticisms of the original while celebrating its iconic elements. The success of recent sci-fi and fantasy franchises has demonstrated the audience's appetite for expansive cinematic universes. If done well, a Barbarella remake could lay the groundwork for a broader universe of interconnected stories and characters. This approach not only enriches the narrative possibilities, but also taps into the trend of serialized storytelling that engages audiences over multiple films or even television series. Considering Sidney Sweeney's involvement and the potential for a visionary director like Edgar Wright to steer the project, there's optimism that the Barbarella remake could be more than just a single film. It could serve as a launchpad for exploring diverse worlds, introducing compelling new characters, and delving deeper into the themes that resonate with contemporary audiences. And that wraps up today's discussion on the Barbarella remake. Thanks for tuning in. Do you think now is the perfect time for a Barbarella remake, given advancements in filmmaking and changing cultural perspectives? What are your thoughts on the possibility of expanding the Barbarella universe into multiple movies or even a cinematic universe? We'd love to hear your ideas and suggestions for future videos in the comments below. We'll see you next time.